Last week, I did two kind of big things on my YouTube channel. I talked about my mental illness, which was surprisingly scary, but the response was really loving. And second, I changed my channel name back to its original name, What's Behind the Sky. For a while, my channel name was just my name. But I'd like to tell you the story of how I chose the name What's Behind the Sky. What's Behind the Sky is a name I chose for my channel when I was 17 years old, and believe it or not, it's a line from a classical song cycle by my favorite composer Leonard Bernstein for solo soprano voice and piano. The song cycle is called I Hate Music, and it's songs from the perspective of a 10-year-old girl named Barbara, no joke. She talks about her favorite riddle, where she thinks babies come from, there's some charming lines like Jupiter has seven moons, or is it nine? Saturn has a million, billion, trillion, sixty-nine. And the last song in the cycle is about how she's sort of coming into her own and she realizes she has her own thoughts and wants to be respected not just for her cuteness or her precociousness, but for what she actually thinks and feels and believes. And maybe because I was 17 and just really anxious to grow up and be thought of as an adult, but I thought that song cycle was just the bee's knees when I was 17, and I thought What's Behind the Sky was just the pithiest line in the history of songwriting, and so I chose it for my channel name. For the record, I still think the message of the song, wanting to be respected for your own thoughts and opinions even as a kid, is a pretty positive one, even though I have songs that I like a little bit more now. But when I got to college, I met a lot of people who were paranoid about being pretentious. Now, my definition of the word pretentious is pretending to like something that you don't actually like in order to impress other people. And I internalized some of this message. I thought that when people saw my classical music song quote, they would think that I was putting on an act to try to sound more impressive or smarter or whatever. But that's not actually true. That's just actually what I liked when I was 17 years old. And I've decided to change my name back to What's Behind the Sky because I want to acknowledge where I came from. It's an important part of who I am. Actually, that's not the whole story. For a while, as I said, my channel name was just my name and I'm applying for jobs right now, and I don't want the first thing that employers see when they Google me to be an intimate discussion of my mental health or a video of me singing a weird song. I'm trying to pursue a career in journalism here, people. So wait, you're telling me you've decided to be yourself on this channel so you can go be a journalist somewhere else? Yeah, me with a hat, it sounds kind of shady when you put it that way, but I think a lot of people set boundaries between their personal lives and their professional lives, and if you notice the lack of ads next to this video, I think of YouTube right now as part of my personal life. See you tomorrow, friends. Thank you.